Hi, my brothers and sisters. Hope you're having a great time. God bless you. And I pray the grace of the Lord will continue to uphold you all. In Jesus' name, amen. By God's grace and by the help of the Holy Spirit, our helper, our teacher, today we're going to look at the law. How is the law fulfilled? The law is fulfilled in love. We're going to look at how the law, the law of God is fulfilled only in love. Praise the Lord. So today we are going to look at Galatians 5, 14. Oh, Holy Spirit, I need you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. 14 says, For all the law is fulfilled in one word. Even in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Praise the Lord. So all the laws of God is fulfilled in love. You know, Jesus came and he just kind of, how do I put it? Put all the laws together. Yes. And make them into two. Love God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second, he says, is like it. Love your neighbors as yourself. This is the greatest commandment. And this scripture is telling us that love can only be fulfilled in love. In love. Love for God and love for your neighbor. Praise the Lord. So let's see what Jesus did for us in Romans 8, 4 and 11. Praise the Lord. Romans 8. It says that, that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Let me start again from 3. Now, the law could not be fulfilled. Why? Let's see. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. Amen. The law of God was righteous. When we look at Romans 7, 7, it says that, What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Certainly not. On the contrary, I will not have no sin except through the law. Praise the Lord. So, uh, the, the law of God is righteous. The law of God is um, holy, is pure. But because the flesh is weak, it, can, it, it cannot fulfill the law. So, sin took advantage of the opportunity of law. Let's see in uh, Romans 7, 11. It said, For sin, taking occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it killed me. See? Therefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. Praise the Lord. That is the scripture. The law is holy. His, the commandment is holy and just and good. But because the flesh is weak, it cannot please God. The flesh can never please God. So the, the flesh can never fulfill the law. Praise the Lord. So, you know, it was through the law that we know that sin is sin. So that's the advantage that, you know, the, the sin took 
to deceive us. For sin taking occasion by the commandment deceive us. Because it was, it, it was through the Lord that we know that covetous is sin. Murder, murder is sin. Lying is sin. So you see? But now, praise the Lord. Jesus has come to do that for us. Um, Romans 8, 3 says, For what the law could not do in that it was weak, the law was weak through the flesh. God did how? By sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Amen. On account of sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. So Jesus condemned sin in the flesh. For that the righteous required requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us. Amen. Let me take that again. That the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Praise the Lord. So it is only according to the Spirit that we can fulfill the law. So how do you know that you are fulfilling the law? It's by walking in the Spirit. When you walk in the Spirit, then you will not fulfill the laws of the flesh. Praise the Lord. And how do you walk in the Spirit? It's by obeying the Word of God. Yes, that's it. You obey the Word of God. As you read the Word of God, as you pray, as you um, meditate on the Word, you memorize the Word of God, obedience, obedience to the Word of God. Then your willingness to submit to God. You need to submit to God and walk in obedience as you read the Word of God. We need prayer, grace every day. Lord, give me grace to obey your word. Give me grace to walk in the spirit, to help, help me. Praise the Lord. So let's look at um, love, what Jesus was saying about love, walking in love. What is the fruit of the spirit? What is the fruit of the spirit? I also want us to look at Romans 8, 11. It says that, um, but if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, praise the Lord. You are a believer. You are a child of God. The spirit of God dwells in, in us. Yes. So if the spirit of God dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit. Hallelujah. Who dwells in you. So the Lord is able to quicken our mother body when we submit our body. You know, uh, in Romans, uh, Romans 12, 1, the Bible said, Present your bodies as a living sacrifice unto the Lord, holy and acceptable, which is your reasonable sacrifice. Praise the Lord. And be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. That you may be able to know what is that good, what is acceptable, and the perfect will of God. Through the word of God, we are able to, to renew our mind. And as we submit ourselves, present our bodies unto God in obedience. Lord, your word says I should do this. That's what I do. Your word says I, I shouldn't do this. I'm not going to do it. Give me grace. All the Spirit begins to walk in us. It quickens our mortal bodies so that the power of sin is broken in our lives. Praise the Lord. So Jesus has given us power over sin, over flesh, over Satan and worldliness. We have grace to say no to ungodliness. And when we say no to ungodliness, God walks in us. The Holy Spirit quickens our mortal bodies so that we don't have all those desires anymore. Maybe you've been smoking, you just suddenly lose the desire to smoke because you submit your body to God, you, 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 you obey the word of God because you, you cut yourself away from friends that will deceive you or movies or things in the world that will deceive you or keep you away from obeying the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the Holy Spirit begins to work in us as we present our bodies 
present our eyes. What God does not like, you don't look at it. What God does not like to listen to, you don't listen to it. You don't gossip. Your mouth is now surrendered to Jesus Christ. You don't gossip about people. Your body is, is, is unto the Lord. Whatever the Lord wants you to wear, whatever he, wants to, whatever he wants you to go, that's where you go. You submit to him in prayer, in uh, fasting, as you study the word, and you obey the word. Praise the Lord. Willing, obedient to the word of God. You obey the word of God. Praise the Lord. So the Holy Spirit is in us. He quickens our, our body. So we begin to walk in the spirit when we walk in the spirit we will bear the fruit of the spirit let's look at the fruit of the spirit so how do we know that we are fulfilling the law it's by walking in love by walking in the spirit walking in love praise the lord and the bible says uh, galatians 5 22 says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace Long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness. Are you gentle? Self control. Against such is no law. There is no law. See? Against such, there's no law. So the law is fulfilled in love. This is the fruit of the Spirit. It's only those who are walking by the Spirit, who are obeying the Word of God, who are living in fear of God, obeying the Word of God, um, avoiding sin and fleeing from any appearance of sin. Those who, who are submitting their lives to God. Praise the Lord. We walk in the Spirit. We allow the Spirit of God to walk in us. Praise the Lord. So, the Bible is saying that against such there is no law. 24 says, and those who are Christ have crucified the flesh. So that's how we crucify the flesh. When we walk in the spirit, we are no longer enticed by the things of the word. The closer we draw to God, the closer we, we, we are to Jesus, the more time we spend with Jesus in his presence, the, 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 the less... Uh, the lesser and the the more we, we, we don't even want the things of this world. Yes. The things of this world, we just look like dung. Like Paul says, I can't off but dung for excellency of knowing, you know, Jesus Christ. That's it. So we walk in the spirit. He said we crucify the flesh with its passion and desire. Things I used to do, I do them no more. There's a great change since I'm born again. Praise the Lord. It says, so if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. So we can fulfill the Lord when we walk in the Spirit and the Holy Spirit begins to quicken our mortal bodies and we begin to bear the fruit of those spirits. Love, love, joy, peace. It is only in the love of God that we can fulfill the law. Praise the Lord. And when we look at Jesus Christ, Jesus was telling them in, in, in Matthew 5, uh, from 19 to 40 years, was telling them, except your righteousness uh, it, it exceeds that of the Pharisees. You can't enter the kingdom of God because the Pharisees, they only keep the law that is fair according to the flesh. And you can't keep the law, all the laws. Praise the Lord. So uh, Jesus said that, okay, you have heard that uh, the Bible says uh, that the law, you know, their law says divorce your wife by giving her a certificate of divorce. But Jesus says, if you divorce, you're committing adultery. If you divorce your wife except for for. Uh, fornication or for I mean except for adultery if you are divorcing your wife then you're committing adultery and anybody that marries a divorced woman is also committing adultery and Jesus went further and said oh they have said that don't commit adultery but Jesus is also saying I say that even if you look at a woman lustfully so who has not looked at a woman or look at a man lustfully <laughs> you see so God wants mercy, forgiveness, and love. So God is saying that 
Okay, this is my standard. You have heard that high for high, uh, tooth for tooth. That's fair enough, isn't it? For the flesh, it's fair enough. Highs for highs. Yes, you, you, you beat me, you slap me, I slap you. But Jesus is saying, no. If somebody is going to do not resist evil, Jesus said, do not resist evil. If they slap you on the right side, turn the left cheek. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, that's unfair. It is love. Love, out of love, you forgive that person. He said, if somebody wants to take you to one mile, go two miles. If they want to take your shirt, give them your coats. Come on. That is only what the Holy Spirit can do in your heart. Praise the Lord. He said, if you are ang angry against your brother, you are in judgment of, 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 of hell. So you need to be careful. Do not swear. The Bible says, uh, the, Jesus said, you have heard that do not swear falsely, but I'm telling you, don't even swear at all. <laughs> don't swear at all. Praise the Lord. That's only what the, the, the Spirit of God can help you to do as you walk in love, as you walk in the Spirit, as you obey the Word of God, <clears throat> and as you allow the, 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 the Holy Spirit to guide you, to lead you every day, to walk in you, patience, gentleness. It's only when you're, you are gentle that somebody can step on your toes or slap you on your right hand and you can turn. That's a meek spirit like Jesus Christ. The Bible says it was before, it was like a sheep before uh, the shearer. And he did not open his mouth. He did not say anything. They were beating him. They were nailing him to the cross. They were doing everything. He didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. That is only what the Holy Spirit can do for you. And the Bible says that. And Jesus also said that. The, you have heard. They said, love. Love your neighbors. But I'm telling you, love your enemies. Oh, come on, Jesus. <laughs> yes, that's only what the Spirit can do in you. You love your enemies. You pray for those who curse you. And you, 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 you do good to those who persecute you. That's only by the Spirit of God. So God is asking us to be merciful, to be forgiven, to love one another. You know, love fervently. Yes. In, in other words, we are like, God, I surrender unto you. Have your way. Holy Spirit, help me to be like you. God, um, allow his son and reign to, to, to be upon the, the evil people and the good people. Yes, so he wants us to, to also be perfect as he is perfect. Praise the Lord. Uh, the Lord will help us. Let's go study more, pray about it. God will give us grace to continue to walk in the spirit and to love, to love. Praise the Lord. God bless you.